it's a beautiful, beautiful day. It's my little pile over there I've been trying to clean out. Uh, believe it or not, we had snow like yesterday, <laughs> like two inches, and now it warmed up and it's all gone. But it's going to be a mess. But we're cleaning that little area up, a little burn pit out there. But today we are working on models. Not putting them together, but counting the pieces. Because a while back, I bought a lot of different kind of models here. And these are just a couple. I mean, I, I bought a lot. So, um, I've gone through this one. Uh, the Clean On Cruiser, it's all there. Um, actually, I found two of them in there. But the other one is a different brand and different kind of model and this in, it wasn't in the right box so that was really really a mess uh got this uh us enterprise it's all nice and sealed so that's good uh went through this humvee it's all there and this world war ii jeep it's all there and then there's ones like these i haven't gone through these ones yet but like uh you open up the start skid hutch he's like oh man cool i mean it's that's great you know it's sealed and everything and then all of a sudden you got why is there two of them in there then you start looking it's like what, what's going on black and so now i gotta go through this and de determine why there is two cars in there and I imagine, just like everything else, I um, haven't even gone through these ones yet. The one-handed move here. See, like here. These are supposed to be in a bag. And there's something been popped out. So what I found out that uh, I got these at an auction. And I bought probably 50, 60 models. Well, here we go. we got two cars in this one. This guy, whoever had it, was, he had to touch every model, and he had to, like, either take parts off of them, add parts on. I don't know what you got. It's very frustrating because the auction house didn't really tell us that they were like this. So, yeah, I have to go through... And hopefully, you know, I got the manual. But here, I got here. Now there's like two manuals in here. Dart Sport. And the Plymouth Hardtop. And the Dart Sport. I mean, what the hell? I, what about, and what is this? This is, a, this is a Plymouth. Yeah, Duster Hardtop. So why the hell is this Dart Sport in there? Yeah, this is in. I, here's an El Camino, sixty-eight El Camino. See, that's that's very good. But then he's like, oh, "I'm just gonna go ahead and break all the pieces out of you know the pieces, and just leave them for somebody to buy this and make them go insane trying to figure out what I have. I might throw some extra pieces in there or I might take one piece out to make it incomplete just to screw them over. Yeah. And this is so time consuming. But yeah, that's why I'm going through this Porsche right now. This uh, Porsche 911 slant nose. Ugh. And some of these pieces I don't know if they're pieces. Well, yeah, that's a piece. Like this. I don't know what that is. Looks like a, maybe a mirror. Ugh, yeah, what a pain. Like, he didn't do the engine. Usually, I found a lot of the engine parts were, like, mix-matched. Um, but, yeah, right now, I haven't found one piece. Um, about almost all the way through it. Let's see, where where is the piece I cannot find? Yeah, that piece right there, the rear trailing. I haven't been able to find that one yet. But I don't know what it really looks like, because right? everything's red. So, yeah, things we got to do. Oh, and let me talk to you about, like, ones I've already gone through. Yeah, you know, death pile stuff here. 
I know we have an issue. That's a death pile issue here. Uh, yeah. Death pile issue here. Yeah. There's, uh, there's some of my G.I. Joes back there. And soldiers of the world. Okay, yeah. Need to go through some books. Here's my uh, vintage dartboard here that uh, doesn't work, but uh, that was supposed to be a project of mine that I know I'll never get to. But, oh yeah, I was talking about... Uh, yeah, so all these here I've gone through, and there's like... Yeah, there's like parts missing. Oh, it's just so frustrating. Here, this one I think had like three different bodies in it. This one had like, well, here's the dart. I wonder if that goes to that manual. Now I got to double check that. So those I went through and they weren't complete. So it's another fun thing I got to do. Should we go check on Otto? See how he's doing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here's that clean on the one I just like. I don't have a manual for it. I don't know if all the pieces are here. I'm gonna try to see what I can put together and, and list it. See, you know, for parts. Oh, picked these up the other day. Uh, yeah, these little uh, Rogu pancake sets. Uh, I paid a dollar each on those. I think I'm listing them on eBay right now for $9.99. Oh, yeah, we came to see you. Hey, what's up, bud? You having a good time? By yourself, huh? Huh? Ugh. There, you getting cold? There you go. Don't want you to get cold. And we uh, listed some Barbies the other day. Uh, I think I've sold four of them out of that box. So, this week. That's pretty good. And got some offers out on some others. But sales are picking up. That's good. My office is a mess. I know. We listed a whole bunch of these. Uh, like a test run. I, I picked all these up. Uh, put them in lots. See if they sell or not. Because I can buy them real cheap. Yeah, some G.I. Joe figurines. My office. Everybody needs a tactical gas mask. Just in case, you know. You know how this government's going. Oh, I got some Xena. Some Dungeon Dragons up there sealed up. Got my Japanese uh, dolls at... I don't have them listed. I don't know. I'm kind of holding out on them till I actually have a place because I really don't want to ship them. They're they're beautiful, and that's actual glass, I think, too. Nope, plastic. I lied. Oh, and here's another. I'm gonna. I picked these up yesterday too. Uh, it's this uh, Korean uh, sauce. It expires here, in 2024. But uh, actually, these were selling online. I picked these up for a buck, um, but a pack of three is like selling for 25 bucks. So I'm putting that on the auction uh, just to see what it does. Uh, I think I started out at 15 uh, or they could buy it for 25 And I might just list the other one. I don't, I'm not sure yet. I'm playing around with some stuff I bought. You know, uh, here's a CPAP filter kit. Uh, some Termax Serum. I know for a two-pack, those go for about 25 She got me a brand new, uh, Rabbit Go dog harness. Let's see, I haven't even looked that up yet. A uh, couple little things here and there. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, and I went through, uh, I got these big, big ones I've been going through. These are completely sealed. U.S. Oregon... Uh, I think this is a uh, German battleship. That one's completely sealed. Got a little bit of damage, but that's all right. 
And this one wasn't sealed, but I went through it. Uh, it's the TU-22 Blinder Italian Jet. So, I haven't listed those yet. I think I took pictures of them. Uh, I got some old video games I haven't listed. Some PlayStation 2s. Um, yeah. A little Sega Genesis back there. Nintendos. Yeah, I kind of need to go test these. And clean them up, you know, before I list them. Uh, that's kind of part of my death pile, but... I'm not too concerned about that. So, after I just got done making that video, I have another Barbie that just sold. Inline skating Barbie. Yeah, this one here. Sold for six, oh wait, 45 bucks. And it is going to Sweden. So yeah, that's a, that's a nice little buy. It's got some damage to it. I'm sure... Uh, I, I told him and everything, referred to the pictures. But yeah, that one is going to Sweden. Well, this box, I'm glad I didn't put this up. I got a, somebody gave me an offer of $30 for a horse riding Barbie. So I took it. I had her listed for 35 So this one's going uh, to the U.S., um, can't mail it yet because they haven't paid so they sent me an offer i accepted and i'm waiting for payment so i'll just pull it now give them a couple hours or days depends on how quick they are so i was just going to show you real quick uh, what i use to uh ship my barbies that are like the older style ones here uh, i use a uh the shoe box because uh, instead of just uh, one of the flat rate ones because when you put them in there wrap them up with bubble wrap put a little bit of tissue down there you put these in there and they kind of just sit like catty corner from each other so they're not it won't turn but it's not going to be bouncing around so much i'll put a little bit more uh tissue here and there and a little bit on top but it really keeps it stationary i believe and there's not a crushing point on there like if you just put it into one of the 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 thinner flatter ones so this one here is going to uh oh, i think norway and then this was a u.s buy one so yeah we'll just go there get my thank you notes put in there get them away get the get my uh labels printed out and get them ready for tomorrow's pickup well, here's a rookie mistake. Uh, so I brought my packages. I just packaged up over to get weighed and get the labels printed out. But now I don't know which one is which. <laughs> so I'm going to have to open one and look. Which is no big deal. Just a couple of stripes of tape. But <laughs> yeah, rookie. All right, we got that straightened out. So I'm going to go ahead and measure up the one that's going to Poland. Uh, let's see, international uh, standard delivery, and it's going to cost $22. She paid $45 for the, the doll, so it gets expensive shipping overseas. We'll print that out. Mother Barbie's going to Tennessee, so it's not costing that much. Uh, let's see, priority mail... Uh, 882. Uh, I do get a discount, 29%. We'll get that all printed out. Oh, yeah, this hat here sold uh, on eBay auction <laughs> for 99 cents. Yeah, you know, I picked this up in a in a lot. Uh, with a whole bunch of other hats. I sold some Denver ones uh, at another auction. This one, I was going to really just throw it away. But I thought, well, maybe somebody might want it. It's the old foam snapback. Uh, the New Zealand All Blacks, which I didn't know what they were. But my buddy Ted actually knew who they were. They were uh, a, uh, like a rugby team in New Zealand. So... Yeah, Ted doesn't know much, but he knew that, so I'll give that for him. Probably going to wrap this up, put a little tape on it. Well, wrap it up with some paper and probably put in a uh, poly.
bag to ship out. That will probably be like four ounces, so that will be an easy one. Yeah, I threw that hat in here. Uh, let's see what it weighs. Oh, yeah, right under four ounces. So, hey, that's good. Let's get her prayered out. Oh, what time is it? <gasps> it's bad time. Woo -woo. Yeah. How's it going, Mr. Pug? I didn't know you were in here taking a shower. You should have told me. I would have helped you out. Come on. Otto has a real special ability where if he finds anything dead outside, he will do a death roll in it. Like a crocodile roll. Yeah. We haven't found what he's rolling in yet. Well, this could be a daily event. All right, let me finish this guy up. He's using too much hot water. All right, bud. The sun is finally shining in Nebraska. It's been a pretty rough, rough winter. Uh, spring's been kind of pretty touchy. Uh, we haven't got too much good weather. Uh, sun's shining. Um, wind's blowing a little sun's bit. Sun's shining, so we'll try to get a little, a little something done today. Maybe you know, I got a little project I've been working on. I got. A lot of projects I mean since I've lived here in my little village for a little over six years never have time to uh, do anything because I was always working seven days a week so now I got the freedom to do what I want and it's kind of like now where do I start <laughs> so it's it's kind of overwhelming I think but uh, I just got to take it like little pieces at a time so we're just gonna, me and Otto are gonna go check the mailbox, and then I'll show you what I've been up to real quick. Hey, all right, Otto, where's the mailbox at? Look at that. He he almost got close. I gotta put my my coffee pot down. Well, coffee cup. Oh, no mail today. I gotta send out some packages tomorrow, though. I'll give you a little quick rundown of my place. There's the uh, there's this, the old Methodist church. Doesn't see much action. Uh, this is my neighbor. She owns an old school over here. She doesn't live there. Um, she uh, she's somewhere else. I don't know. It's a long history with us. Let's see my truck. Yeah, the front of my uh, house here. I'll show you my little project I got here going. All right, so I got two trees here. Let me back this up a little bit. All right, so they were dying and everything like that. And oh, I think two years ago I, I topped them off so instead of just cutting them all down what I'm thinking is I took all the bark off this one already in the process of doing this one here and they're kind of I wouldn't say straight up but it's something I can work with but here's my idea I want to get a archway from here to there and I'm gonna use hog panels. Uh, I'm gonna cut them up like maybe in two foot sections, uh, long ways. And might have to put two of them together to see and either nail them or tie them or do whatever. And then I'm gonna put lights up there. And then I need to get online and order some hops because I used to grow hops back in, uh, back in my own other town where I lived. And they grew really good, and if you, the conditions are right, hops can grow up to two feet a day. So I'd like to get enough of them just to surround this entire, maybe I'll get like four of them on each side here. Maybe make a wire way up on these trees, and then have to go across. So I'm gonna have like a big archway. I can kind of see it in my head. I don't know if it'll work out, and that's a lot of space. I don't know and yeah, let me know in the comments what you think but yeah I'm gonna put uh, probably hops on both sides they'll meet and 
hopefully they'll take off. Um, I guess I could probably do ivory. Maybe I'll mix some ivory in with them. I know uh, the church over there's got some ivory that runs up on their, come on, right over there, which re looks really cool uh, in the summer. I would love to have that building over there for storage. I'd make like a cafe over it, probably have my little store over there, make a brewery over there. Oh, the options. But she wants like 236000 or something like that. And that's above my uh, pay limit. So yeah, I've been kind of working on that here and there. There's my uh, awesome Christmas tree. I got permanent Christmas tree lights in there. So the first time I did it, I decided I'd never want to do that again. So they stay in there forever because that about killed me. I got some chairs, so if anybody ever comes and sees me, it's nice. We can sit out here and have some adult beverages. What I'm thinking here is I'm going to take these little bushes out. Maybe over there, too. And I'm thinking about pulling all those out. I got a lilac uh, tree here that I've been kind of working on this thing was huge it was like went from here to here I've been trying to work I've been working on this for four years and uh, it, it they are so in there I don't know if it was one collective but I can't seem to pull it but I think they're starting to die now that I can start to break them and and get them off I might just pull up the truck with a chain and yank them out um, let's see. Oh, uh, here, this is my death tree here. So when I first got here, I walked the property and found all these skulls and stuff. So I hanged them in here and now, which is kind of cool. They're actually, the tree's growing around in there. I think that's pretty sweet. I don't know. The thing, it still gets uh, leaves and everything on it. And even though it's dead on this section, but uh, yeah, I just I call it the Dutch tree. I'm gonna have to keep that for now. Let's see, I got uh, got a choke cherry tree here, but I think I'm gonna take it down. This thing is so weird. If you look, it gets this uh, almost like glass. T sap and all that stuff that's crazy but it's not producing so I'm probably gonna take it down uh, let's see my barn that's another beast uh, an apple tree I'll keep that up this year I got a lot of dead trees here so last week I started working on this little section over here cleaning it out um, a lot of the the fallen tree limbs over the past storms would seem to collect over in this area so I've been working on that got my little burn pit over there getting ready for late night spring cool nights fire pits let's see what else we've been doing here I had to cut some wood the other day because it's still getting cold at night. Still getting below zero or uh, below freezing. Boxes, 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 you know. They never end around here. Uh, I've been trying to clean this deck off and it needs to get some work because it's starting to rot now. But what a piece of history on this thing. God, I love this. So, yeah, I had a rotten piece. Uh, Probably got a couple of them that need replaced. Uh, I need to get some of this stuff off here. Here's a cool thing here. This is an x-ray machine. Um, I think it was 1905 maybe. One of the first ones. Um, it is so heavy. I don't know what's inside it. Probably uh, pure radiation. I have no idea. I had a nameplate. I got it somewhere because I took it off. 
I kind of like the... I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It's just a good conversation piece. But it's so heavy, so I could never ship it. And I did see people online putting those on there. But they're asking, like, shipping is like $100. I don't know anybody that would do that. A couple of seats. Here's where I come out and eat. Me and Otto will hang out here. So if I'm gone... All right, so if I'm gone uh, for more than 20 minutes, Otto freaks out. I think he gets his anxiety from me. I'm not sure. So, so what he does is he sits here on this picnic table and waits. And he'll be about right here. And he'll sit and lay down and he'll watch traffic. And I think he'll be out here until I come back. Because I've come back like, let's say I, I leave for work at you know five in the morning afternoon gets warm he comes out here he sits here and when i get home like at five he's right here it's like every day and boy does he let me have it because he screams and screams and screams uh, i don't know what i'm gonna do with this tree yet i just kind of got some uh stuff leaning up on it some old sickles. Here's kind of a cool, uh, I've got to find me a nice spot for this, but this is kind of cool. It's got the patent date on it, 1915. It's probably about that, that age anyway, Cincinnati. It's an old old furnace door so that's pretty sweet I picked that up at a local auction I think I paid ten dollars for that I've been asking a hundred and twenty for it because it's just so cool yeah you think it's cool because you're always trying to pee on it all right well that's just a quick rundown of what's going on here in uh, Cowboyville Boy, the wind really picked up, but uh, yeah, I started picking up all those uh, pieces of bark, and I found me a little buddy. So maybe it is starting to get a little spring. A little green eraser, harmless. Pretty good size, actually. We're gonna find a better place for him, though. I think what we're gonna do, put you over here. First snake I've seen this year. It's a good sign. I'm gonna put him over here and spruces. I don't think he gave himself down there. Ah, he'll be alright. <laughs> 